enough. Here comes, here comes, what did, what did Noah have? We got it, Jubilee 7 and 20. And in the 28th Jubilee, Noah began to enjoin upon his son's sons the ordinances and commandments. What did he put upon his sons? The ordinances and commandments. These are the Torah. The ordinances and the commandments. No Noah had laws. And all the judgments that he knew. And all the judgments that he knew. And he exhorted his sons to observe righteousness. They had to observe righteousness. All right, now, now this takes us into where we are today. And the reason we're in and see what we see today. What happened? Something major happened. And we ignore it. We don't acknowledge it. We have no idea what happened. Why? We weren't here. And it's not a major teaching. Although we brought it out a little on the channel. Just a little. I touched on it. The most high allowed me to touch on it a little bit. Continue. Uh, to observe righteousness and to cover the shame of their flesh. Cover the shame of their flesh. And to barack their creator. Mm-hmm. And honor, honor father and mother. Honor father and mother? That's not mentioned under no high laws. <laughs> is, that, right. is that mentioned? No. That wasn't mentioned. We can even eat flesh. We can, listen, there, we can eat blood. We didn't see that. That ain't under no high law. And love their neighbor. Love their neighbor. And guard their souls from fornication. Guard their souls from fornication. And uncleanness. And uncleanliness. What is uncleanliness? Everything against Torah is uncleanliness. Not seven things. And this ice on the cake. And all iniquity. And all iniquity. You're talking a whole. He just covered everything right here. And all iniquity. Family, something happened. We're reading about another nation. This is deep. We're reading about another nation. And we're trying to get an understanding of Yasharal and other nations. What are they to do? How can they, can they serve the Most High? How can they serve the Most High? We have a way of serving him. They have a way of serving him. And something happened. Noah promised this. He told his children this. And something happened. Jubilees 10, 1 and 2. This is what happened, family. This is what the people don't teach. And in the third week of this jubilee, mm -hmm. The unclean rocks began to lead astray the children of the sons of Noah. So they begin, these demons, Shadims begin to lead astray the children of the sons of Noah. And to make to err and destroy them. So when he, this is for us family, all of us, Guin, Yashara, every nation on earth, the wicked one is out for us. To go off, to stray, to err, and that he may destroy us. Remember, we fling a serpent wishing to destroy us. That was the job. Verse 2. And the sons of Noah came to Noah their father. They came to Noah their father. Noah ain't in this group. They knew what to do, but they not like Noah. Noah's not in this group. They came to Noah their father. And they told him concerning the evil Ruas, mm -hmm. which were leading astray and blinding and slaying his son's sons. And slaying his son's sons. So not only they lead astray, once you lead them astray, they, be, they become blind. This is what happened to people that we see. They said, we're in the truth. We're in the truth. They become blind and they can't see. And they're being led astray. And they're telling people, we're going to get the kingdom. Y'all know we're going to get the kingdom. And they're happy. They're praising somebody's name. May not be the name of, the, of Yahuwah. They're praising somebody's name. And they also call on the wicked ones. This is what happened to the sons of Noah. They, were, they went off. Even though their father taught them, they went off. Let's get another agreement here. This is the sons of Zadok 4, 1 through 5. By them went astray the sons of Noah, 
and their and their family. The sons of Noah and their family. It was the wicked ones that allowed that that led them astray. And because because of them, they were cut off. So the people living today, you have the three sons of Noah. They're still living here today. The Asians went off. Hamites went off. The sons of Shem went way off. You see, we all came from one of the sons. Noah is all of our fathers. He's all our fathers. Everyone. We. This is what I teach my students in the class. When we see, they went off. When they went off, Shem didn't go off. When they went off, Shem taught Abraham. That's how we know Shem didn't go off. And he taught his children that wanted to listen. Not all of his children listen. But Abraham was one that listened. Abraham did not walk in them. Continue. And he was recorded friend because he kept the commandments of Yahuwah. See? Bingo. Bingo. This is the order of other nations. They supposed to keep the commandments of the Most High. See? See, there's a lie going out. The commandments only given to Yasharal. And they can eat pork and shrimp. There's no punishment for them, family. That's a lie. They breaking an eternal commandment that was given to their father. Yeah. It was given to their father. The, the, the Asians are off. Europeans, way off. Ham, off. They're hooked up in what today? Religions. They're hooked up in religions. Each one had their each religion. Continue. And chose not the will of his own Ruach. Mm -hmm. And he delivered the commandment to Yitzchak and Yaakov. He's commanded to teach his sons. This is Torah. What did Abraham have? Torah. What did Noah have? Torah. And they observed it and were recorded as friends of Yahuwah. Now, I saw another message here in the Most High Willing. There's another message. Come, there's another message right here. It's right there in your face. And you ain't going to see it until the Most High bring it out. I didn't see it. How many times we heard it was counted to Abraham? He was a friend of the Most High. How many times we heard that? But we miss the message. Another message that's there. Right there. And members of the covenant forever. The covenant's going to done away with. We're on a new covenant. See that? The covenant. See, this covenant is forever. And Christians don't want to have anything to do with this covenant. They want to partake of the new covenant. And this is, this is their era. This will be their era. Era and that which get them cut off with the wicked. The sons of Yaakov went astray through them. Mm -hmm. now, 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 hold on, son. I saw that. I just saw that. These Christians, you just heard me make a bold statement. They're going to get cut off with this thinking. Deception means deception. What I just saw, there are Christians that are still having dreams of the rapture. Don't y'all know these same fallen ones giving them dreams? Don't y'all know they think that's the most high? That's deception. They coming to them as light. And they're showing what they read in the Bible. And they believe that's going to come true. Now the problem is what they see in the Bible does not connect with the Torah or the prophets. It's only in the New Testament. I'm sorry, go ahead. The sons of Yaakov went astray through them. Of course, Yashara went off. Didn't stay on track. And they were punished according to their error. Always. And their children in Misraim walked in the stubbornness of their hearts. They ended up being in Misraim, the children. So that they took counsel against the commandments of the Lord. Stop. What are we doing? Are we going to do what they did in the New Testament? They had a council. Rather, the other nations should be circumcised. Full circle. This is what you call a full circle. They had a council. Those men, what you read in the New Testament, they were trying to figure out, should the other nations? You are of the circumcision. This is how Paul taught. That one of the circumcision. This one is of the circumcision. They not of the circumcision. This is how our people talk today. We are of the circumcision. 
They're not commanded to be circumcised. They're guin. Remember, Abraham was guin. His his servants guin. His whole house had to be circumcised. Why? They're part of the covenant. You want to be part of the covenant? You must be circumcised. You and your servants, your entire household. If not, you done broken the Most High's commandment. And there in the New Testament trying to figure out, should the Gawain be circumcised? Oh, don't let them get circumcised. The, the judgment was this. Oh, they don't have to be circumcised. Oh, just tell them to refrain from sexual immorality and eating blood. They all right. Noah had circumcision. Abraham had circumcision. These men were doing circumcision. And every man did that which was right in his own eyes. And they end up doing what was right in their own eyes. We think it's right. It seems right. This is the right thing to do. And that's what that means. Right in your own eyes. It seems right to do this. Notice here, this was when, this is the time when do didn't, they didn't have the Torah. And they didn't, there were some things they didn't understand. And he says, we are both allies, friends, but we are different from you by the Torah of truth. Now, this is the part, again, we fell off. Noah's sons didn't deliver to their sons. That they are the, the world, the entire world is supposed to keep this Torah. We got the verse to back it. All the world, all the world, all nations are required to keep the Torah. Let's just bring it out. Here it is. If you don't think all the world is supposed to keep the Torah, Zechariah 14, 16 through 19, son, read it for us. And it shall come to pass that everyone who is left of all the nations. Of only Yasharal. Because the commandments and the Torah and the covenant is to Yasharal. See, there are some things even do missed for not having Torah. So, 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 so all the nations continue. Which came against Jerusalem shall go up from year to year to worship the king. What are they doing? This is Torah. They got to come up all the nations. At the end, when it's all said and done, all the nations have to come up from year to year to worship the king. Yahuwah of hosts and to keep the feast of tabernacles. The tabernacles were given to Yasharal. This is part of the covenant. And right here, we're being told all nations got to keep this. All nations must do this. We're separating. We're, we're getting to distinguish the difference between Yasharal and Guim and Guim's job and how it got lost. The sons of Noah simply went astray. They didn't tell sons and their sons' sons. And so they went off. They went so far off to the point getting them back on track would be one of the hardest things to be done. And basically they're gonna got they have to get hit with tribulation after tribulation. They're gonna have to see when Yahuwah comes back down, they're gonna have to see the power of his might in order to get back on track. You give them this right now, they're in their religions. They're not gonna believe this. They're gonna say this is a lie. This is a lie. We don't keep the feast. What is the tabernacle? So say the Asian people. What is the tabernacle? So say the Hamites. And it shall be that whichever of the families of the earth that do not come up to Jerusalem to worship the king. Whoever does not, of all the nations, of all the families on the earth, they don't come up. Yahuwah of hosts, on them there will be no rain. No rain. If the family of Mizraim will not come up and enter in. They have to not only come up, enter in. Because Jerusalem is the center of... We're right back to that message. Jerusalem is the center of attention. And all the earth has to come. They shall have no rain. They will have no rain. They shall receive the plague with which Yahuwah strikes the nations who do not come up 
to keep the peace of tabernacles. So family, all the nations, all the people of the earth belong to Yahuwah. 